Hello guys, today we are going to take a look on this Motorola battery. This is the older type of battery which is not an uh, impress battery. This is the old school battery, nickel metal hydride battery. I saw on the AliExpress replacement but I'm not sure about the quality of the cells used inside so I was thinking maybe I will put my loop, my trusty loop inside so this is the model number of the battery you can read it over here and we are going to try to open this battery see what's inside it's 7.2 volt so I assume there, there will be a six cells maybe it will fit six analog double A's let's see what's inside I can see there is a seam over here maybe I will be able to pry it but let's try to find out okay so quick update after fighting uh, five minutes I was just able to making this small crack was trying to pry from the all side and I wasn't able to access I was trying to use a very sharp knife and just to cut in the hole usually that allowed me to get the access but not in this case so I will try to use my last resource I will try to heat up the knife and just to melt the plastic maybe that will help okay so quick update my hot air set to the max temp blade heating up and we are going to try to melt the plastic this is the my last idea before of course using a saw mm, it's not going very well I can tell you that not good very tough plastic The plastic used by Motorola, as you can see, it's extremely rugged. I'm trying very hard and I'm completely unable to, to destroy that, so... And intentionally. I have to think something. Okay, so after using a lot of brutal force, I was managed to put a screwdriver, but I'm still unable to open it because it's tearing apart over here not on the seam so it looks like I will have to grab a Dremel and cut it apart so not looking good okay I've got my cutting tool my cutting Dremel I've got my safety glasses and let's try to Cut it.
Okay, so not looking good. I will try. I'm going to throw it anyway. If I won't be able to fix it, I will have to buy a new one. So I do not carry that much. Look at my hand. Let's see. Okay, I see a flex. I see some kind of circuitry. It looks like it's not that simple because I can clearly see we've got over here a circuitry. I can see a flex cable. Try to access it. You can see this is not a simple cells. So we've got over here some kind of circuitry, and I can see I broke the flags but that could be fixed but it doesn't look very good to be honest you know guys i don't think i'm going to be able to put it back so let's open this just just to show you what's inside but that won't be a good fix Okay, so that's what's inside. As we expected, we've got a six double A cells, and we've got our flags with some kind of capacitors, and resistors. I can clearly see. Do we have some kind of? There is uh, yeah, like a large plane. Oh. We've got a lot of circuitry inside. Hmm. So this is not just a simple cell. We've got here a lot of stuff going on. And we broke something over here. Some kind of inductor. Maybe we've got a thermal cutoff over here. That might be a temp fuels so okay so that's how it looks like that's the model number if you are thinking about replacing the cells by yourself I don't think you will be able very much to do that 
so that's looking bad for me like always thank you for watching and bye bye